Hey everybody, so good to see everyone. How's it going? Thank you for tuning in to Cooking with Pam Davidson. Um, today we are going to do something that's uh, known for in Pennsylvania around Amish country. Up near Lancaster and all the um, Amish area up in there make something called whoopie pies. And if you ever haven't ever had them, it's like a chocolate, looks like a cookie, but it's actually a cake. And it's little, two little cakes with uh, vanilla cream frosting in between them. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, I've never made these, but my um, uh, my Mennonite friend, she gave me the recipe for these that, the, that she makes. First thing we're going to do is we have to make some buttermilk. So I got some regular almond milk here. And I'm just going to put a squirt of this lemon juice in here. And you're supposed to let it set up about five minutes to kind of sour this milk a little bit. If you don't have lemon juice, you can always put vinegar in here and, and sour your own milk up like that. So we're going to be using three quarters of a cup. So I want to make this up first to set it aside. All right, what we're going to do now is start creaming our butter and our sugar and we're going to use one and a half cups no I think it's no no it's one and a half cups of sugar all right I gotta read my own writing here one and a half cups of sugar there's one here's a half so it's one and a half cups of sugar and three-fourths of a stick of butter let me get my butter knife here now this is just what I've had setting out and getting soft. So we're going to go ahead and put three-fourths of this stick. That's just going to leave one little part in the dish here. Three-fourths stick. Now I'm going to start creaming this together. Put that on low and let that start mixing up. And while that's going, Next, we're going to need, uh, I cut this recipe in half because she said it made, uh, made 50. I don't want 50 whoopie pies sitting around. <laughs> but, uh, I was curious how whoopie pies got their name. So I Googled it and it said that, um, sometimes, uh, kids, when they got to school and they looked in their lunch and they seen the little pie, they would say, whoopie! Or the same thing when the men got to work, if their wife had packed them one of these, they would say, whoopee, they were so excited. But one of my favorite cakes is chocolate cake with white frosting. So I'm gonna see how this tastes, um, making them into a whoopee pie. So we're gonna cream this together. And I'll get right back to you. All right, now the original recipe called for three eggs, but I'm cutting it in half, so it said one and a half eggs. So I don't have one and a half, but I got a big, large egg here. So I'm going to put this large egg in, and I think that'll cover it. So one big old eggs, or probably you could use two of the smaller eggs. Get all that good egg white out of there. All right, let me keep creaming that together. All right, now we're going to need a quarter of a cup of Crisco or lard. If you're from West Virginia, this is what I call lard. But it's just Crisco. We're going to put that in there and let that cream up with it. Get all the goodness out of here. Don't want to don't want to leave nothing. All right, we're gonna let that cream up. All right, it's getting nice and creamy. Show y'all what it looks like down in there. Now we're gonna put in the salt, and we got a half a teaspoon of salt. Got my little salt container here. Half a teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle that in there. And we're going to put in 
one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. So this is the half teaspoon right here. And then I got the, let's see, this is the one teaspoon. So we're going to put one and a half teaspoons of vanilla in here. All right. Let's give that a little whirl. Next, we're going to add three-fourths cup of water. So I got three-fourths cup of water measured out here. We're going to pour that in. And we're going to put in our three-fourths cup of our buttermilk sour milk. It calls for sour milk, but I think that would kind of be a buttermilk. And it's getting good and sloshy down in there. And we're going to put that in. That's getting real sloshy down in there. All right, next is going to be all of our dry ingredients. We're going to mix that around a little bit while we get our dry ingredients together. We're going to have to have three-fourths of a cup of cocoa. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this in. Of course, I got it all over the side of my mixer there. Yeah, that's all right. Three-fourths of a cup of cocoa. We got two teaspoons of baking soda and two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to wipe this off here. I have my vanilla in there. Make sure that's good and dry. Okay, two teaspoons of baking powder. Dump that in. And two teaspoons of baking soda. Get it all the way full. I don't want to go to all this trouble and these not work out. All right, there's two teaspoons of baking soda. So let that mix up a little bit. The only thing else we got to add is our flour. So let me scrape the sides of this and I'll get that to you. All right, now we're going to add our all-purpose flour. It says two and a half to three cups. So I don't know if we're going to put two and a half in or three. Probably close to the three. But I'm going to go ahead and start with two. Get that mixing around a little bit. And I'm going to fill the other one up because it's probably going to take three cups. Go ahead and dump about half of this in. All right, I dumped about half of that in. We're going to see how that works out. All right, I just ended up putting the two and a half cups of flour in here. So you can see kind of how thick this is. It's not like cake batter. Because you got to have it kind of thick. You don't want it to run all over your pan when you're scooping it out. And what I'm going to do is scoop it out. This is about a medium scoop right here. So we're going to we're going to try to scoop it out. We kind of want to make them all about the same size cuz we're going to put two of them together. So I'm just going to scoop these and I don't know how much they'll spread in this pan. Y'all can kind of see how I'm going to do it here. I'm just going to go like that. Scoop that across. Whoops. I better just do a few on this first one. And kind of, kind of keep them in a little ball like... Till we see how much they spread out. All right, I'm going to cut this off and let y'all know. All right, I'm going to put these in the oven first. 450 degrees for about four or five minutes. All right, y'all. I baked them about six minutes each. 
There's a whole rack of them. I got whoopie pies coming out my yin yang right here. So we're just going to set these here and I'm going to make up the frosting. All right, so I'm going to get the mixer out here. And I'm going to put in a half a cup of Crisco shortening. And I'm going to put in three-fourths of a cup of butter. I mean, it's three-fourths all together. I put in a half a cup of Crisco, and I'm going to put in a half a stick of butter. And I'm going to start that creaming up. And I'm going to put in... A fourth a cup of water. I'm going to pour the cup of water right here, put that in, put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of vanilla, we're going to put in a pinch of salt, that was a pinch of salt. And I'm going to put in one pound of confectionery sugar, or powdered sugar. Now this is a two pound bag, so I guess I'll just kind of cut it in half there. I have to cut this thing open here. And shake in about half of this. Alright, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and put in about half of it. I think it's going to be about three and a half cups that we're going to be needing. But we'll see as we mix it up here. All right, I'll let you know. All right, the frosting is ready and look, that looks amazing. Now you could use this frosting for anything, not just whoopie pies. But we're going to take, now you want to get two of your Two of your pies about the same size, I guess. And you could pipe this on if you want, but we're just going to quickly do it like this. Put some of this cream right there in the middle of that pie. Well, I guess quickly. I'm kind of making a mess of it. But anyhow, you just want to put the cream in the middle and then put your top on it like that. Now that's a whoopie pie right there. I'll do a couple more here. Put you some cream there. Get you a lid. And I just kind of twist mine like that to get it to go down. Just like that. And there you have it. It's a whoopie pie. Just get it on there like that. You don't want to push it. So just twist it like that. There you go, it's a whoopie pie. Now you can take and wrap these in saran wrap and stick them in the freezer and they freeze real well. And when you want a little treat, I made mine kind of small. Them Amish now, they make them big old whoopie pies. But this is just the right size for a little treat. All right, share my videos. Thank y'all.